up y'all welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you how i did this really cute short set i'm probably not going to talk as much as this video as i did last time because i want you guys to sit back and enjoy So I was clipping her nails to make sure that they was all even because hers was kind of on the uneven side, but we got it all together.
So I started to file her nails on the side because you do want to make sure that the nail tips fit the free edge. Well, it's not the free edge, but the side of her nail, you want to make sure that the nail tips fit. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What's the deal? I oh, no, no. This the one you're talking about that's supposed to take my place. Damn, is this for real? Mm -hmm. It's almost as respectful. That's a downgrade and you know it. Still your best. Me. Still your best. Me. So as a dehydrator, I did mix acetone and alcohol together and I put it on a wipe, a non-lint wipe, and I wiped all the nails. And then after I did that, I used the Mia Secret Dehydrator and the Young Nails Primer on top of her nails for it to last and have a long retention. Most of my sets last more than a month, so... Do y'all see how bad I laid that bead? That made me so mad. Because my application be so shy on camera, I swear.
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the best application video because a lot of my beads were like really, really runny. So I was working with a lot of runny beads. So, you know, I had to work with what I had, you know? So if you want to know where I got this pink from, I will have it linked in the comments, well, linked in the description, but I'm pretty sure that it's from Dynamic Nail Co. Because this is one of my favorite pinks, especially to use for like ombres or underneath the fringe tip. And a lot of my clients really choose this pink.
So I like to use a fine bit drill bit to soften up the nail from all the ridges. But you don't want to go on a really fast, fast speed because you will file down the nail. And I also like to use it to seal the cuticle and make sure everything's all tight and everything. Because I don't really like to buff nails. It's just not me. I never did it. So this is easier. So a nice thing about this set was she wanted um, to combine three different nail designs into one on this set. So we went in with a few different things, some croc print, some 3D croc print, some V French, some, I sprinkled some glitter and everything, but I love the final look. It turned out really cute.
in order to do the 3D crock print right, you will have to top coat the nail first, which is what I'm doing right here. And here's the final. See you guys next time.